Hello, fellow gamers and fans of EverQuest, brought to you by the good people at Project 1999. It's Thum the Barbarian! And I'm with a really good friend, guys. We have AC Gamer. Hey, guys, and welcome back to another episode. What is new, AC Gamer? Tell us, uh, give us some, uh, give us the download, man. What's going on with you? Uh, well, you know, lately uh, we have been doing a little bit of raiding with other guilds uh, that have been doing like open raiding systems. So we went to the Plane of Hate. You actually got to go with me as well, Thune, which was really nice. Cypher got to go. Chupa got to go. Uh, I think we had Bushido Bull with us as well. So it was like the whole gang was there. Uh, unfortunately, we didn't have Nano. Did we have Nano with us? Uh, yes, we did have Nano. Okay, so we, we had Nano. There, yeah. We didn't have Dark Dragon. Uh, we didn't have Loking Gaming with us, unfortunately. Uh, it would be nice to get everybody up there because in a raid, you have plenty of space. But... Yeah, it was really fun, and I ended up getting a new hat here you guys might have seen in the last few episodes. It's, uh, you know, like I refer to it as like a 90s hat, you know, new kids on the block. It's Basically, awesome, uh, yeah, it's a baseball awesome. helmet. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, that's what it looks like. It's a baseball safety helmet that I'm wearing backwards. So I like it. It's uh, it's unique, and it doesn't look like a toaster oven that somebody sat on. So big improvement from what I used to have. <laughs> and, uh, Thum, you got something up there as well, right? Yeah, I got a pair of uh, I got a pair of boots, guys. Uh, they've got uh, 20 AC. They're not as good as my cobalt boots, but um, as far as AC, but they've got stats, and uh, they don't really have relevant stats though. But I, I like it. I mean, uh, they give me intelligence and they help out with my skill ups. So I put them on when I'm binding wound. I put them on when I'm swimming. Uh, I also have a ring uh, of the the goblin lord that has four intelligence on it so i'm building up this intelligence gear because i've noticed a difference guys uh, with the two items that i have now and i just got an item today let me link that and share it with the viewers um this is what i just got in seb the jarseth scale leggings and they've got intelligence on them too guys so and they've got two more ac than uh oh man the experience here is not not half bad ac i mean maybe not for you because you're level 54 but uh you know i like chicken dude it's a good zone, though, man. There's good loot here to be had, for sure. And it's a unique experience. You're not going to get to see some of these creatures unless you come over to this zone. The one thing you got to worry about in this zone, though, that I haven't really seen be the case this time around, but it definitely was back in the day, was all the trains that used to happen. You know? Oh, yeah, it's bad. It's bad. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it used to be horrible with the amount of trains. But, yeah, this time, I mean, yeah, if you scroll up the little thing, you'll see there was a, a train earlier right there. But that's the first one. That's the first one that I've really seen kind of take shape in this zone. I could be wrong. I could just could be logging on during, you know, really good hours where nobody's really doing anything too horrible. But, yeah, it, it can definitely get pretty nasty in here. In fact, I've seen it as bad as Unrest or even Mistmore used to be. Again, I haven't seen the trains in that zone either mm -hmm. as much as they uh, were back in the day. All right, so I, I'm pulling. All right, go for it, man. You still have all your buffs on? Uh, I do. I do have all my cleric buffs except for uh, sh uh, symbol, but that's not a big deal. Dude, I wish I knew why it was. I mean, I know Thum is dark. God, I know I know I'm blind, but God, this is awful dark. And if it's this dark, at least it's dark in high definition. So you know, you know what I'm saying? Uh, right courtyard. We got left courtyard, right? Yeah, we're on left courtyard. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it looks like another group just uh, moved to the hand. Sorry, man. Uh, uh, that, that enchanter was asking if the spot was still open. I was telling him yes. Uh, but what were you saying? I'm sorry. <laughs> My brain is not working as well as it should. Uh, you like bacon? Uh, yeah, yeah. Something about chicken. Yeah, so, yeah chicken. Chicken wrapped with bacon, man. <laughs> uh, you know, uh, I'm going to gonna astound a lot of people, but I'm not a big fan of bacon, dude. I'm not a big fan of ham or pork or... Uh, you know, I, I can fix it really good, uh, and I like to have it every once in a while, but usually I prefer chicken, guys. I mean, I'm the type of person who can eat chicken or fish every day of the week, uh, you know, because I know how to prepare it in, in 300 different ways, so I'm never going to eat, you're never going to eat this, the same type of fish uh, that, you know, you may roll it in a little bit of uh, melted butter and then roll it in cornmeal one day. You may... Um, Drizzle it with uh, lemon juice and herbs, and stick it in tinfoil, uh, and put it in the oven one day. Bake it. You can uh, you can sear it on the grill. You oh, can. He got uh, he got two. There's all kinds of beautiful things that you can do, man. Who pulled? That would be the mage who uh, got tired of waiting. 
<laughs> That's what yeah, happens. It yeah, happens. You, you get people when oh, they're at a very impatient. Targets, dude. You switch targets. I thought you were going to take us into this whole uh, bubble gump shrimp kind of thing. Uh, no, 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 no. I mean, you know, just there's there's lots of ways to to prepare food. So, I mean, I, I'm trying to be healthier, but uh, trying to be healthier, trying to eat healthier. I really would like to try this fish thing that I hear about. I saw a. I saw something on the internet that said, uh, you know, people who eat fish and vegetables alone are 19% healthier than everybody else. That includes vegans, vegetarians, meat eaters, e everybody. So if you eat only fish and vegetables, you're uh, what the uh, what it said was you're 19% uh, healthier than the people who don't eat the same diet. So <laughs> I don't know what the science was. You know, all I did was I saw a chart. Uh, a guy who is a vegetarian posted a chart on the interwebs and so now i'm basing everything off of <laughs> <Right>. that <laughs> but no it just i mean fish uh, i like fish i dig fish i don't dig it as much as chicken but i do dig fish and uh you know it wouldn't make me sad to, to eat nothing but fish and vegetables for the rest of my life so but what it, what it takes guys is research what it takes is for me to go out there and make sure that that's actual there's actual facts backing but i mean it's I don't difficult. see how it couldn't be. I don't see how it couldn't be because fish is healthy. It's, as long as it's not chock full of mercury, it's healthy. It's difficult nowadays, though, man, because like even when you hear something like that, and they, they list all these facts and all these doctors who supposedly you know have said this and this and this about Bring that stuff. Club, dude. Oh, nice. Oh, yeah, I'll random on that. Oh. All right, random. Actually, I already have a button for it. Let's see. What did I get? Oh, uh, you lost it. Yeah, just barely. Oh, he's going to pass it? Really? Okay, well, then I guess I win. Oh, uh, hold on. What did I roll? No, uh, no, man, you tied. No, you yeah, you got six more points than I did, brother. You won. Congratulations. <laughs> <laughs> what is that? Clap! <laughs> did you want it? No, 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 no. It's, it's, um... I'm not going to use it for anything. I was just rolling on it to see if anybody else wants it. Uh, man, I could use my druid could use that. Would you give that cool relish if you're really not going to use it? Yeah, yeah, it's now, all his, down man. the line. Yeah, dude, that's awesome, dude. Because he doesn't, he's got uh, something that has nine damage. It's a good club, but it has no wisdom on it, so it's not good for me. So, yeah, but with the uh, you know, the whole internet thing, you got tons and tons of these studies out there that say one thing. I mean, it used to be. You hear about it like every year on the, the news, I'm saying like coffee was good for you. Next year, it would be bad for you. Eggs and bacon were good for you one year and then bad for you the next year. And that's junk science, though, dude. That's that's not actual science. That's junk science. That's people uh, rewording studies that have already been done multiple times just so they can get their studies published. That's how a lot of them do it, um, though, man. Like yeah, when you it's, delve it's really. It's junk, though, dude. I mean, it's junk. It's just a way for them to make money. It's not actual. It's, I mean, I, I saw Neil deGrasse Tyson talking about it. Uh, on a podcast and he that's exactly what he said is junk science is people sometimes it's the media actually taking stuff out of context so they can make it seem so they can actually make it seem yeah. newsworthy yeah newsworthy so it's it's not actual science but the uh, he, i mean know that the grass tyson himself said the eggs are bad uh the white the yellow part of eggs have cholesterol they have bad cholesterol they also have good cholesterol, so they're bad for you. I mean, anything that has bad cholesterol in you is not good. Well, according uh, according to him, because if you talk to doctors, you go in for a doctor's visit, and you ask one doctor, you know, they'll tell you one thing. You talk to another doctor, they'll tell you an entire different thing. You talk uh, to I mean, you, you put ten doctors in a room, you'll get twenty different opinions. That's how nuts it is. They don't even agree with themselves ninety percent of the time. It's crazy. I so mean, doctors are doctors are just as full of shit, dude. Well, I was, I was not, gonna say yeah. they're they're people and people make yeah, mistakes. Yeah, people so. make mistakes. They're fallible, and uh, you know, as uh, the same guy who I got the chart off of said that doctors are one of the most prolific killers in America, dude. <laughs> uh, mistakes. Uh, seriously, man. I mean, they kill more people than car accidents, and car accidents kill a lot of people in America. I, I think misdiagnoses you... and uh, accidents during surgery and stuff like that kill people. Oh, I'm sure and, they do. You but know, I mean, of course, I'm getting my facts from, like I said, another YouTuber, and uh, I don't know where he got his research facts from or anything like that. So basically, this is just hearsay, guys. And I want you to treat it as hearsay because I don't have any evidence. I don't have any research to back that up. So I'm just saying something that, like I said, I saw on the internet, and you know how that is, guys. Don't believe everything uh or even half of what you see on the internet but i mean he seemed pretty adamant about it he seemed believable 
So I don't know. I mean, well, that's, you know, like that's I said, you do used your car salesmen. That, you know. That's what used car salesmen do. Yeah, you know, exactly. They seem very yeah. believable. But I don't. Know, I think it comes down to you got to make the decision for yourself. You got to look at the facts as you've seen them, the experiences you've lived through, and make that decision. Because the doctors, they do the same thing. They they give you what they know to be true at the yeah, time. Yeah, the knowledge is that. Yeah. Exactly. And then and then you have to make that decision. You have do I do the surgery or do not I do the surgery? Yeah, they could have mistakes when they do the surgery and somebody might die. But not doing the surgery, what are the side effects of that? You know, you have to weigh that as an individual. I think it's the same thing with the internet. You know, like when you hear these uh, facts about, well, I've eaten meat my whole life. It's never affected me. Right. Is it really as evil as everybody says it is? Or is it right. another one of those my health kicks? My grandmother's 83. On? My grandmother's 83. She eats, she, oh, ding, baby, ding. She eats, ah, bacon, uh, she eats bacon and eggs every morning for breakfast. And uh, she eats meat. Uh, well, sometimes she eats uh, just corn and green beans and stuff like that because, uh, you know, but uh, she, you know, she eats meat. She's 83 years old, guys. It's, uh, you know, I heard a scientist once say it's really a lot of it's up to us. A and lot your of genes. it's up to the person. And, yeah, your genetics and your makeup and, and uh, you know. Your health lifestyle. I mean, yeah, you know, like yeah, you're, if, you eat a, if you eat a rich breakfast and then you do really heavy lifting all day yeah. long, you're probably still going to be in a little bit better shape than somebody who just, you know. My grandmother worked in a tobacco field her whole life, dude. <laughs> so, you know, I mean, that's, uh, that's going to allow you to eat probably some really crappy food and – uh, still be healthy because, you know, you're yeah. working in a tobacco field all the time. You're working all that cholesterol and stuff out of your veins. I don't. I mean, I don't know how it works. I'm not a scientist. <laughs> or a doctor. I'm not a doctor. Jim, I'm not a doctor. I'm not a. I'm not a scientist doctor. What is this, dude? What is this mage doing, dude? Why is he taking his pen off one mob? And I'm gonna need help with this curator. I hope he knows that, dude. Uh, let me actually root that curator because I don't think you guys are gonna be able. He's gonna complete heal himself. Yeah, of course he is. Uh, that's why I need the pet over here, dude. He, he needs the. I think he has three complete heals in him, though. And we apologize, guys. There Anybody who's who's watching, and you're like, oh, you guys are getting weird and off topic and stuff like that. It doesn't happen too often, but occasionally we'll throw something weird in there and and give our opinions on certain things. But and our opinions are just as valid as your opinions, guys. It, honestly, I mean, I, I was going to say they're just as as BS yeah. as anybody else's opinions. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> they're not like valid. I mean, exactly. But... They're they're just as you know. So you you guys make up your own minds, and for God's sakes, do a little research, man. Don't just spout something that somebody said on the <laughs> internet like I'm doing. I was gonna <laughs> say, know? isn't that exactly what you just did? <laughs> yeah, exactly. I mean, uh, you know, I mean, uh, uh, but I think that see, I trust the guy that I'm getting the information from because I know he does research, and he's he 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 appears to me to be totally unbiased. When I've watched his videos, he seems like he's just completely unbiased. He presents facts like, you know, I mean, he gave an actual chart. He got the chart from somewhere. The chart came from uh, some some place that did research on it because they had data and facts on the chart. That's why I'm thinking that fish, you know, there is maybe some scientific uh, evidence behind the, the fish thing being healthy. You know what I miss? I, I miss like when you used to read an article, it would have, you know, any anything that it said facts in there about. It would, whatever yeah. it was talking about it would list i think it was like three right. sources. three three yeah. sources of where it got yeah. that information from that confirmed those facts i mean the same thing when you go to college they they require you to do that and you have an entire page of like all your sources on where you got that information from they really do oh crap is that running oh i think they may have died the captain just ran back who, who died the the team over there on the other side oh that's not good yeah it's a choose so uh the captain is up if you guys want to pull that Oh, you, you think we can handle the captain? Not if this mage keeps pulling. Think me and the pulling. captain can make it happen? This mage keeps pulling, not not really. Well, you know, I think he's just bored. Did we have a skeleton guardian back here that he just left and pulled anyway? No, or no, that, no, that's what he just yeah. pulled back and I rooted okay, it. Okay, all right, cool. I was scared. I wasn't scared. Me and you'll be fine. Oh, no, no, you're scared, man. You're scared. <laughs> he might die. Nah, he's good, I think. Ah, uh, there's another guy right behind him. He might get uh, aggro here if he doesn't move. Hopefully he sees it. No, I don't think he's gonna oh, see it. Dude. Now I'm procking like mad, dude. What is going on, dude? Why are you getting procked on so much, caller? You, you upset by that? A little butt hurt? <laughs> <laughs> he <laughs> might be because he's getting whipped. From yeah, he's behind. Getting, he's getting, yeah, he's getting whipped in the butt, dude. That would that actually hurt my butt. Yes. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You, now watch me whip. Now watch me nay nay. Uh, oh, we got him, dude. We no. got him in the face. Please don't. <laughs> now watch me whip. You don't like that, dude? Come nah, on. Do the dude. 80s one. You can whip it. <laughs> uh, just whip it? When a problem comes along, you must whip it. Uh -huh. Oh, yeah. Jasper? I'll take a Jasper. Jasper? Yeah, that's a um, 
old school, man. That's, I think it's a plat or something, isn't it? Or is it just yeah, gold? Yeah, it's like four or five gold or something like that. If you buy it, I think it's up to six gold. Then why, why are you taking it, dude? Because it's going to rot otherwise. Yeah? Yeah. <laughs> That's why I'm uh, taking it. I'm the same way, man. I'll, I'll pick up everything, and then uh, if I get something of greater value, I'll just delete whatever I picked up and replace it with the, the more valuable item. Well, I, I don't loot that often, to be honest, on my cleric. You loot all the time, dude. What are you mm. talking about, dude? Only I can't get you to stop looting when we're in Soleil, dude. It's crazy, dude. It's like, dude, save some loot for me. And you're like, no. <laughs> so, Soleil is a little different, although I'm not looting all that much in that one. But anyway, yeah, I'm just playing. Guys. Soleil, I, I literally have nothing to do. I yeah. usually is the farthest thing from a loot hog. <clears throat> but, yeah, it's, it's interesting to go in there and farm Soleil. You get make so much money doing it. You're, you're up to, what, like 600 platinum every time you go in? It's about uh, the, the last two times I've been in Soleil, uh, on about three trips, I averaged about 700 plat. Three trips to the, the Druid Ring outside, guys. So For about 700 each? Over 700 plat, actually. 700 so each or 700 after the three trips? 700 each trip. So uh, both times I've been out there, I've I've, I've got about 1.5K from two trips to Soleil. And how long is a trip? You're talking about 20, 30 minutes about each? About three, four, maybe four or five hours, dude. Uh, you know, three trips out to the Druid Ring each time. So has netted me over 700 plat. Four or five hours for every trip? You're in there. Uh, yeah, you're killing I'm, in there for I four think hours. The first trip was like only about two or three hours, dude. So it does, it's not taking that long to get 700 plat. Holy crap! Really? It was two hours? Because when we went in yeah. there with, with each other, more, dude. If, if I get two or three of them, it's guaranteed. That's uh, a two or three hundred uh, plat trip, especially if I'm full of fine steel. It's just a, it's just a great place to go farm, and now you're giving it away, and everybody's gonna be in there farming. Well, right? yeah, but on my videos, they're gonna have to wait like a year and a half to see it, so <laughs> we, yeah, we still got good. it for a little bit longer. We're good. <laughs> Your channel, though, that's another story. But no, I mean, me and you were in there the other day, and we were in there for about 20, 30 minutes, and we got a full set of uh, you know bricks and fine steel. We went out and sold. I think I made like three hundred plat, yeah. and that was after 20, 30 minutes. You're talking about two hours every trip. Yeah. That's really you're spending two hours to make seven hundred plat. Well, uh, you know, I don't, I, I don't know. Maybe it's like you, like you said. Maybe it's only an hour and a half. I don't know. I'm not, I'm not timing myself, dude. God, <laughs> I think it's a, a lot, lot of quicker. Twenty questions. <laughs> no, I'm just saying. I think that's a, a lot quicker than you think it is. I think you're. Yeah, I think, I think you're right. Probably because you're in there by yourself. You're like, man, this is going real slow, and you're actually only in there for yeah, like thirty minutes because my friends aren't here with me and say, so, yeah, yeah, I think you're right, dude. <laughs> yeah, it's a really good experience, and even if a lot of people show up to that dungeon, there are so many goblins there, and they spawn so quickly. I think you'd probably have maybe six or seven high-level guys running around one-shotting goblins and looting them, and you still would have plenty of goblins for everybody. So I don't think you're going to really have to worry about that. And if that place is too camped, just go over to Soul B, and you can kill the uh, the kobolds over there, and they drop fine still like crazy. They don't br drop the bricks, but they drop the fine still, and that still will net you a nice little uh, nice little chunk of change, especially if you take on like the noble or the... Uh, the Royals, I mean, the Noble itself will drop a staff that's worth 99 Platinum that nobody wants to buy except for a vendor. So that's a nice chunk of change. And then the Royals will have the, uh, you know, Ruin Mithril Bracer and yeah, all that stuff. Yeah, 700 Plat each, or about five to 700 Plat. Oh. Yeah, there's and then the, the, the chest piece, which is about, what, another 500 Plat, something like that? The Mithril Breastplate? Yeah. Mm, I don't know what the price is on that one, actually. I've never seen it for sale. I've never really looked for it. I'm pretty sure there's tons of them out there, but... Yeah, it's, it's a nice breastplate. That was something you were wearing until you got your crustacean, right? Yep. Nope. Very good. Yeah, and that right, pet's doing a good job, man. Crustacean is worth quite a bit as well. We might go and uh, try recamping those sometime down the line. Oh, yeah, dude. I would. I mean, Soul, uh, me and you should actually probably be farming Soul B, dude. We're When we're together farming, Soul A is like beneath us, dude. We could actually maybe even get a tiny amount of experience, dude. And uh, Thuma's now level 53, guys. So I uh, think um, after me and AC get done here, what do you want to do, AC? You want to play some uh, some alls today, brother? You said you were talking about halflings, man. Yeah, I got a uh, halfling rogue that I kind of want to go and experiment with because he's in a new part of the zone, or a new zone, period, that I'd never really spent very much time in. Halflings was a race that I never had a character with and never really uh, messed around with and I never really got to explore their city very much. And what I've been finding lately is as we've created new characters and each one of my characters is a different race, I am learning more of the towns that are out there to the extent where I'm no longer as lost anymore. If we, if we happen to be near one town, I'm like, oh yeah, we can go over there and get the guild you know, spells or whatever for your 
your your class because I know exactly where that is. We don't need to go look it up on the map. We don't need to roam around for an hour. I have already done that with my low level tunes. So really, really helpful. I think for the okay, understanding now, of the game. Let me ask you a question, dude. What all classes do you know of that halflings can make, dude? Because right now I'm leaning toward rogue. Uh, so I mean, you could play rogues together, but uh, there may be another class that I want to try that I haven't. I couldn't tell you all the classes they can make. I think any of the good ones. I don't think they can be a paladin. Because I don't can think I've ever seen one. I don't think they can be a wizard, right? Uh, I don't know. I always see gnomes as wizards, but that doesn't necessarily mean that they can't be one. You I know, there's a lot of these... basically wisdom casters. I think they're being clerics and, and druids, actually. I'm not sure about that, though. There's don't a, quote me on that, guys. There's a lot of races out there that uh, tend to be one class or another. And all the other classes that they're possible, you know, capable of being, never really get taken advantage of. You know, people are just like, if you're going to make a necro, you make a dark elf or you make a lizard, right? But you can still right. make a human necro. You can still make, you know, a... Uh, I think you can make a gnome necro as well, but you don't really ever see them, you know, is what I'm saying. So I'm not sure on that one. I would definitely have to look around and find out. Oh, uh, that pet, that pet, dude. <laughs> good jab, dude, good jab. <laughs> all right uh so yeah man so after this video guys we're gonna roll out and we're gonna make halflings together dude it's gonna be a special time in our relationship dude as friends dude <laughs> <laughs> a new a new decade of halfling love dude furry feet and everything so how you how's that make you feel dude how, how does furry feet make you feel do you is that one of your fetishes furry feet <laughs> no, I, I have no fetish when it comes to feet at all. If you want that, I think it's yeah, uh, what, what's that one director that uh, every single movie. George Romero? No, no, it's that other guy, the guy that does the Transformer <laughs> movies. I think. Uh, Michael Bay. I think it, is it Michael Bay? Uh, he did the first couple. I don't remember, man. I can't remember what. No, no, I think it's it's not Quentin Tarantino, is it? It might be. Uh, there's a, there's a there's a director out there. Don't don't you know tell me which one it is because I have no clue right now, guys. But there's one out there that I remember watching on uh, who's it like the E channel? I think it was over at my sister's, and she loves watching that channel. I can't stand it to be honest, but she loves watching stuff about celebrities. And they were talking about how his um, his uh, you know glory, his uh, reputation had preceded him when he went to another country, where the guy was there early and he was listening to the radio and they were talking about his, like his foot fetish in all his movies. Like every single one of his movies has a scene of feet from the actors and everything like that. And I was like, you know, that, that's his thing. That's his thing. I have nothing wrong, you know, against that whatsoever, but it's definitely not my thing. I, I don't, uh, you're, you're later. You're going to invite the road guy. Is that, uh, the guy who's coming? No, no. I'm right. Lord. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, this uh, this guy outside, uh, his name is Frick, wanted to know if I could uh, clicky him right outside KC, and I'm like, well, I don't have the epic right now, but if you give me 10 minutes right before we leave, uh, you know, I'll run over there and give him a res, and he's like, oh, no, no, that's all right, let me see what I can do. <laughs> so he doesn't want a 90% res. Nobody wants a 90% res anymore. It's only 10%, guys, that's all you're losing. Yeah, man. It's like two kills. Some people, it's six percent actually, because all they, all the ninety six percent is get can get you is six percent, six more percent than four percent. I thought it was ninety six percent. Is it not ninety? Oh, you're saying the difference between mine and the other one? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. yeah it's only six percent difference, dude. So uh, you know, people are just picky, dude. Yeah, some of them are. I mean, I can understand it though. When you're one of those heck levels that take forever to get through, you're just kind of, I don't, I don't want to spend another you know ten minutes trying to get that experience back. If I can just spend 10 minutes getting a higher level res. It's the exact same thing in my book, but yeah, for them, maybe not so much. Train from... Oh, there's another train out there? I don't know. I didn't see a train. Yeah, it's a small train from Zone. Mokoshan. Mokoshan. Why you train, Mokoshan? Why you train us? So maybe I was wrong. I was mentioning earlier that I don't really ever see any trains here, and that's the second one we've seen today. Yep. Nope. It's kind of kind of cool to see the zone. Oh my god, how many people are pulling right now? Uh, like everybody. Maybe? Yeah, I'm the only one in the room. So the <laughs> yeah. the rogue, the mage, and you are all outside pooling. and I guarantee you, you're all gonna find something at the exact no, same time. No, I didn't find anything, dude. It's it's hard out there for a pimp, dude. <laughs> Not in that hat, it ain't. Check it out, guys. That that's uh, Thum's uh, horny hat. Uh-huh, my horny hat. My horny hat is horny. Is he bringing something? 
I think he yeah, is. Yeah, there I guess we go. so. Rackalur. Assist Rackalur. Skeletal look at. Yeah. All right. <laughs> and you said you made uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. <laughs> How much experience have you made into your level so far? Uh, a blue? Yeah, this is this blows the uh, the hole away, dude. Oh, you you just keep no. you just keep saying things about that hole that just don't sound right, guys. <laughs> he wants to go deeper in it. He wants to blow oh, yeah, things away. Go in the hole, man, you know? He wants I mean, to blow uh, the hole. I think there's a uh, constructive surgery that I can get so that that would allow me to go deeper in the hole too. So, you know, <laughs> things for me to look forward to, you know. <laughs> Why are you laughing at me, dude? God, I just want to pleasure my woman. Not that I have one. Wait, wait. I thought, I, I thought we were talking about a zone here. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, the hole. Yeah, I noticed. Yeah, that's what we were talking about, dude. Yeah. That's okay. what I thought we were talking about. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, it may have sounded like something, but then it totally went off the rails and went into yeah, that. I'm a dumbass, <laughs> but I like it. I like it. I love it. Oh my god, dude! What is wrong with me? I can't get it. I need enough. help, dude. Oh my god! Don't <laughs> don't add to the country, man. Country devastation. Yeah, All man. Right. Go with country, dude. Do it. Uh, so yeah, we got about maybe ten, ten to fourteen more minutes of of kicking ass and smoking grass. Are you looking for a um? Are you looking for a rep for you too, man? <laughs> no, this group is done yeah. when we leave. Yeah, yeah no, A cleric and a warrior. I mean, that, have a bad time. all they got is DPS. So you'd have to find the basic of another group, and that's, yeah. Let's see. That, that's not going to happen, so. Yeah, just give them a heads up. Let them know that uh, me and you are going to be heading out here in about uh, five, ten minutes. And, and that way, if they see that somebody else is uh, looking for a group uh, or looking for more, they might be able to join them. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. What is that from, dude? Is I that have from no countdown idea. Countdown is the answer. Countdown. It's the reason. Almost sounds like uh, conjunction, junction. You know, kind of. Junction, junction. Watch your function. How bills made to a lot. up hose and. Oh, never mind. Never mind. I think that's not how that goes, dude. I'm just a bill. You remember that? I'm a bill, and I'm sitting here on Capitol Hill. <laughs> <laughs> uh, my voice has reached a new height, a new epicness. Did uh, you watch those when you were a kid? Because I know I, I did. did. Of course, yeah. Oh, yeah. Did, yeah. Those were good, so man. So many times, yeah. I loved them, dude. It was my childhood, man. You notice how the cartoons, at least for me, when I when I think back on them, they used to be played multiple times. So if you missed an episode like that one, that would be back on the on the on air, you know, within a couple of days, maybe a week or so. Right now, I see like my nieces and nephews; they watch TV, and I never see a repeat. Like it's a different episode every single time they come over. So maybe I just don't watch it enough with them. But it seems like uh, they got so much more content out there to see. Than we ever did. Mm -hmm. Yeah, dude. Yeah, exactly what you were just saying when I wasn't paying attention. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's all right, because I'm talking to people at home. They're listening. You know, they're they're like, it's oh like yeah, I don't yeah. have the brain capacity to read chat and to listen. Neither do I. I was doing the exact same thing earlier when I was responding to two people and <laughs> like, ah. trying to get the enchanter over and listening to what you were saying and heal people at the same time. I was like, I, I wasn't really paying attention to anybody. At yeah, the, it's got a lot on our plates, dude. And yeah, it's my brain. My brain, guys. It, it needs to uh, learn to multitask a whole lot better. My video's done converting, though. You know what that means? Mm, party time? Uh, that means that I'll actually be able to uh, upload a video when, uh, in between the time me and you start our halflings and, and go running around. Nice. So like little nude people. Maybe the people at home won't have to wait as long. You might be yeah. wrong on that last episode. They're going to be like, I don't know what you're talking about. You guys are going to see uh, some new halfling action, dude. Hot, furry, hot, hairy halfling uh, hooligan? H hooligan? I think that's what you were talking about earlier when we went on to like that director thing with the halfling. But if you could pick any character within the Lord of the Rings, any any race, and you had to live that way in that universe, which one would it be? Well, uh, I think I'd probably go with an elf, dude. Because they're immortal. They're immortal unless they die in battle. Uh, they're really good with bows and short swords because they have eternity to work on them. Uh, so they're gonna be. You're gonna be a real badass in a fight. 
otherwise, it's either that or a mountain troll. What what if none of them were immortal? Because I know, it, like, if you put the immortal thing in there, people are like, yeah, that's the one I oh, want. Oh, if you made them on level with humans? Yeah, yeah like, everybody. If, if they, everybody's mortal, which one would you go with? Nah, I'd still go with the elf, dude. You think so? Because I, yeah, because I'd be immortal, dude. Nah, because that's... <laughs> <laughs> I took that off the table, man. Just kind of pulled it away <laughs> yeah, from... <man. laughs> you can't take it off the table, man. I, I, no, I, you know, I like the elves. I like the way they look. Uh, I like the fact that uh, they would be very agile, very dexterous, and they would be really, you know, you'd be, you'd be really good with light weapons and uh, and bows and arrows. And I, I dig, I dig a bow, man. Uh, you know, I remember our friend Hutchie. We haven't heard anything from Hutchie in a long time, man. I hope you're doing well, Hutchie. If you're still watching the videos, brother, shout out to you. But uh, you know, watching him shoot his bow, you know, it makes me want to go out and buy a bow and actually do stuff like that. I love, I love uh, target practicing with a with a handgun, guys. I mean. Uh, uh, it makes me feel like it feels like it's a skill when I can when I can shoot the uh, the M in the Mountain Dew can that I filled up with water that I've tinted red or whatever you know <laughs> you know I'm silly but I just I, I like to go out and shoot cans sometimes I shoot water bottles uh, plastic water bottles you know it's just I like to go target practice I'm not looking to hurt anybody with a gun I, you know I'm just looking to to have fun and it is fun to go out there and and shoot at cans and shoot at plastic bottles so I think I would enjoy it just as much with a um, you know, with a um, with a bow and arrow. That's what I'm trying to force out of my mouth. <laughs> you call it. I'm looking for here. There we but go. Yeah, I mean, uh, you know, uh, if I'm such a fan of that, I believe I'd I'll also be a fan of. You know, I love using the bow in Morrowind. I mean, Oblivion. So yeah, I'm a fan. See, I think I would have to go with uh, the guys who live in the Shire, because they seem oh, to you have go with the Hobbits. Okay. I think so. I mean, other than looking incredibly ugly and being, you know, just. Uh, kind of uh we're kind of plain looking actually not not that bad looking i guess it's just the guys in the movies that they pick kind of always look grungy because they're going through you know the story <laughs> they're going through all sorts of nastiness and they don't really ever get to clean themselves off but the guys in the in the shire they look fine the thing i like about them the most that uh, that seems to be appealing is they live a very simple but very enjoyable lifestyle you know they yeah, kind of I, mean, I don't know i i, I think I, well some of the elves though I man the elves live in these huge forests and as long as they're not being attacked by orcs, I mean, that, actually, the elves had to in the Hobbit. They had to come forth out of their woods. Otherwise, when they're in the woods, they're safe and they're yeah, happy. But, and they're. But think about know. it, man. Like the elves, they they do other things. But you look at the Hobbit guys, right? They are right, right. quite literally waking up in the morning whenever they feel like it. There's no schedule to it. They just wake up whenever they feel like it. They go and eat like 15 times a day. They have like <laughs> early breakfast, mid breakfast, late breakfast, and then like noonsies and all that other stuff they were talking about. Ooh, cobalt yeah. gauntlets. Whoa! Nice. I'll roll on that for my warrior. Did you guys roll already? Not yet. Mm -hmm. Let's see. What are you guys gonna get? Oh, he's asking if you need it. Is that something you don't have yet? Boom. Uh, I got it. Yeah. You got him already. Those are nice, reckless strength. Uh, yeah, if you want to roll, uh, roll. After oh no, 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 no! If you need it, man, take it. I think that's I mean, what they're saying. I it's five more AC than, uh, and I can give, uh, I can give uh, Cipher his gloves back, dude. So that's that's why I want them. But I mean, you gave maybe I will give you the uh, the. You got the club. Okay, I'm not feeling too bad for you. Oh no, no, no! I'm fine. No, you're giving I'm that fine. to the druid. Dude. I'm <laughs> fine. Don't worry about it, dude. I'm I was saying, afraid. if nobody needed it, that's what I'd roll on it. So go for it, man. Grab it, snag it. Oh, dude, thank you, man. Congrats, I'll dude. Another spell for you. Man. It's another spell? Maybe, uh, yeah, it is. Uh, what, what spell is it, Reckless actually? Strength? I mean, uh, the Reckless Strength? You must be selected target first. But, yeah, I mean, they, they have all that food that they eat. Their bodies are made for it. Ooh, we got a, a name oh, here. Oh, it's interesting out there, yeah. And then, of course, they, uh, they sit around very comfortable, very, you know, leisurely lifestyle, and they never seem to be in a rush. They never uh, seem to be angry with anybody. Everybody seems to get along. Maybe not as well as they could because, uh, you know, Bilbo Baggins was always kind of putting down his neighbors for, you know, wanting their wanting his uh, his valuables and stuff. But I don't know. It just seems very enjoyable, very relaxed and like a happy environment to be in. So, You know, I think I'm going to uh, maybe pass uh, those gloves down to... Uh your warrior and you can give him back to cypher deck next time you see him or something like that would that i don't know i don't know i don't know does that sound good to you the crystalline uh, does I mean, look you... really nice though dude they got good stats on them dude 
Yeah. You can give him to my uh, my cleric, and I'll pass him on to Cypher. I mean, she he should be on later today, so. <laughs> what I do with him? Let's see. What is he? Oh, tell have? me. Okay, there they are. I keep losing gloves, dude. <laughs> it makes me plus ten strength, man. That's that's uh, a horrible thing to lose, dude. A lose a horrible thing to lose. It's no trade. Oh, is he talking about the sapphire? Probably. Oh. Forty-three. Oh. Go ahead and random man. No, I passed it. Oh, he won 91. Sarman, yeah, nice. Sarman's, yeah, Sarman's going to be hard to beat on that one, dude. Uh, no, Ooh, he, he got it. Ooh, Rikalar. I think Sarman's still won, dude. <laughs> yeah, um, 90 to 91. Jeez. That was like yesterday when we were in the hole, and that enchanter we had with us rolled, what was it, a 12 or a 13? And the other guy rolled a 13 or a 14. Beat him by one point. On low numbers as as that. My so. AC is 950, dude. My AC, dude. I'm liking it, dude. I'm liking it a lot. I'm liking it a lot. And if I put it, uh, that's two more if I put on the pants, dude. I can do the pants off, dance off, dude. You ever done one of those? No. <laughs> Can't say I have. It's, uh, yeah, it's great. It's great. You've never done a pants off, dance off. Come on. You've never had pants on and done a dance. I... Uh, I don't <laughs> even know what to, I don't even know what to say to that. <laughs> You've never pickles, uh, maybe pickles, yes, pickles guys, and hamburgers. Yes, yeah, confirmed here. AC has done the pants off dance off. <laughs> Sounds like pickles and hamburgers to me. I don't know. I think I think a dance off is actually a competition. But yeah, guys, uh, AC is completely right. It's time for some pickles on your hamburgers. I hope you like pickles on your hamburgers because you know that's how we roll. <laughs> right, nothing else, just pickles. <laughs> <laughs> we love your bus guys if you have a comment please leave one guys it, it i love to read your comments also go support my friend ac gamer he's got some new videos coming out guys uh anything you want to give a particular shout out to my friend uh not right now uh we are doing the same things that we have been in the past uh terra tech everquest dailies as well as two or three new games every week uh, if you guys see a game out there that you want me to review or want me to play, uh, leave comments down below. Let me know about those, and I definitely will snag them. I always try to you know, make sure that anything that you guys are interested in, we at least touch base with and check it out for a little while, if not longer. And uh, you're probably going to be seeing that uh, along the lines. So, uh, the only real game that I'm planning on, the new game that I'm planning on adding on right now is, is uh, the content, as far as content, is Daisy Standalone. And I'm really, really thinking about... Pantheon. I just put a hundred dollars into my Steam uh, wallet, and Pantheon is probably going to be my next purchase. Uh, maybe within the next two to three weeks, guys. Uh, like I, you know, I do work four days a week, sometimes three to four days a week, uh, and uh, so you know, a lot of my time is eaten up by work. But that's all right. I still have the weekend to to play and hang out. But right now, I, I got to be completely honest with you guys. I'm desperately in love with Project 1999 EverQuest. Um, I'm going to be probably pretty deeply in love with Standalone when I start playing that. I'm also still madly in love with Fallout 3 and uh, uh, more uh, Oblivion. I keep getting it, uh, but uh, which I am going to be modding in the next couple of weeks uh, because uh, a lot of people have requested it. So be looking forward to that, guys, because it is coming. And once again, we love you guys. Thanks for watching, and we will catch you all in the next video. Subscribe. Hey guys, and welcome to the disembodied voice of AC Gamer. We are definitely going to be doing a lot more series in the future, but here are a few of them that you guys might find interesting. Of course, you're more than welcome to check them out. I would love to hear your comments. Again, if you do enjoy these videos, be sure to hit that like button, subscribe. It's definitely the indicator that I use to uh, tell if you guys want to see more videos like that of that particular game style of that uh, you know series in the long run so when you guys leave comments down it helps me decide whether we should keep doing it as well as whether you want to see games like that in the future and here are a few of them right here I kind of picked out uh, a few of different genres we will be doing spotlights for other youtubers in the future so if you uh, want to get a little shout out definitely let me know if you group with me uh, chances are you will get a shout out in here eventually. But for now, these are just uh, four series that I have that I feel like uh, could use a little bit more attention and that you guys might actually enjoy as well. Thanks again for watching, guys, and we will definitely catch you all 
next time.